Hi Andy Prebin here from Me and My Golf and today we're going to go through two different golf clubs. We're going to do an equipment review on the Mizuno MP59 TI Muscle and the Ping Ansa Golf Club. So these, these are the two clubs we're going to look at today. So the Ping and the Mizuno and we're going to give you some feedback on what I think they're like and some of the changes that they've made to it as well. So we're going to start off with the Mizuno. So the Mizuno MP59 TI Muscle. So this is the updated version of the MP58. And the difference with this is they've still got the titanium insert in the back, but it's a slightly smaller insert, and that's allowed them to reposition the weight more towards the heel and the toe, which is going to give you slightly more room for error, basically, on your off-center hits. In terms of the, the look of the blade, it's nothing too different to what it was before. Again, classic Mizuno look, nice polished finish, nice thin top line, Again, more aimed at the, the lower handicap golfer, really, this is. So, standard dynamic gold shaft. This one's a, an S300, a stiff. But we're going to hit a few shots and just see how this performs compared to the, the pink club. Again, I, I already play with Mizunos myself, so I do like the look of the Mizuno clubs, and especially the, the forged head really gives you a soft feeling. So, let's hit a shot and see what we, what we can come up with. Okay, decent shot there. Really nice feel. The Mizuno always gives you that soft, forged feel. Um, very nice looking golf club. Again, very recommend this to any low handicap golfer, especially for me, the looks do, do the job there for me. So let's have a look at the ping. So the ping answer. This is the first forged club that ping have actually done. This is it's a Japanese forging. Okay, now the difference with this compared to the Mizuno. It's traditionally Ping have made sort of larger, more bulky heads with quite a thick top line. So generally it's aimed at different, the Ping generally I'd say is more aimed at the higher handicapper. But this one is definitely aimed at the, the lower handicap here and they're trying to encourage obviously a better player to use this one. So the difference with this is, as opposed to a very more blade look with the MP MP59, this gives you a still a decent looking shape of the head but with a little bit more confidence when you look down at the club because it has a slightly thicker top line. So it's going to give you the feeling of the Mizuno with the forged head, but it's going to give you the confidence and a little bit more forgiveness compared to, to the Mizuno. It's whether you're going to sacrifice that forgiveness for the looks. So again, that's all down to personal preference as well. The, the standard shaft in this is the Project X rifle, which is a slightly more flighted uh, shaft, which is going to give you that lower Slightly low ball flight, so again, depends on the, uh, the golfer really and what you need when you're getting fitted for them. So let's have a go with this one and see what we think of that compared to the Mizuno. So straight away, as soon as I put it down, different look altogether, slightly thicker top line, which gives you that appearance a little bit easier to use. Let's see how it feels. Okay, so equally, similar sort of ball flight, Similar sort of feel actually, that forging definitely gives you that nice soft feel that the Mizuno gives you, but a slightly different look. Now, personally, I prefer the, the more classic blade look. That is definitely aimed at the lower handicap, a better player. And again, gives you the, the sort of the idea it's a little bit harder to use when in compared to this when you when you put this down. So if you're someone who likes that thick top edge and you feel that you want that little bit of room for forgiveness and a bit of confidence. The Ping Answer is a great choice. If you like the classic look of the Mizuno MP59, thin top line, more of a blade look, that one's a great one to look at. So um, hope that helps you with your choice. Again, any more equipment reviews you'd like, to look, you'd like us to do, let us know and we'll do our best to help you out with them as well. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.